In this video, we're going to talk about working with themes. This is the last part of the using the GeoPlan section in ICM basic tutorial. So ICM provide uh, thematic options that allows you to view particular aspects of your data graphically. Uh, it is a similar function um, uh, to the um, formatting function in GIS. So it allows you to uh, change the formatting or change the display of the uh, model objects based on certain attribute or uh, properties um, for that specific object. Um, so um, I'll talk about how to set it up, how to um, save it and how to load it and how to turn it on and turn it off. Um, so first we're gonna go to creating themes. Um, the first step is to ensure that the language to edit TUT network is open in the GeoPlan. So we're going to open this language to edit TUT network by drag it to the uh, GeoPlan. Or you can um, also um, double click on it to open it. Uh, if you have any warnings, just simply click um, cancel. Um, and then we can right click on the GeoPlan and then select properties and themes. And then you can see the GeoPlan uh, properties and themes uh, dialog is displayed. And then we can click on the um, edit themes under the themes column for the node. And then you can see the node, uh, node uh, display setup is displayed. And then we can add, click on this add new button to add a brand new themes. And then um, in this step, it asks us to change the new sub one to a appropriate name. Um, I, will, um, I will simply go to the next step because the names will be automatically changed based on the field that you selected. So um, I will select a ground level for the field. Um, as you can see, after you change the field, uh, the name for this theme is automatically changed as well. Um, so uh, it is a really nice function uh, to use. Um, and then uh, we can click on this add button to add the total um, count, the, the value count to 10. And then make sure that the range continuous is selected. If you select individual, then it will um, uh, change the themes based on an, a specific value. If you uh, click on this continuous, then ISDM will uh, format the uh, objects based on the range that you selected here. Um, and then for the properties, it allows you to change different um, different kinds of formats for the uh, for the notes. Um, for now, we will only want to change the color, so we will we can only click on this color to uh, customize. Uh, you can change uh, different um, color um, individually um, for a different range, or you can click on this auto theme function to change the color um, here. Um, I think, yeah, this looks good. So I will just use this one. And then um, you can, after you change the color, you can simply click on apply and then click OK. And then you can click OK to uh, save the format. And now you can view the um, display on the GeoPlan. And then you can see that the lowest point in the network is uh, this part. So it's in the northeast part. Um, OK, so then we can click on this um, thematic key window to open the thematic key. 
and then you can actually drag this uh, semantic key to the bottom here so that it will be in the same uh, location as your master database and then um, you can go to this uh, thematic key window to view the different format that you have And now we are going to talk about how to save a theme for future use. We want to save the themes under this theme group, uh, model group. So uh, we, will, we will go to this theme group and then we can right click on the theme group and then new info works and then themes. And then we can give it a proper name. Um, I'll just call it um, node ground level and then uh, we can uh, the selected properties to save dialog is displayed and then we want to ensure that the, um, under the node the um, node on the ground level is uh, checked uh, to make sure that we save this ground level we can simply just check this to save this um, and then click OK. And now we can see the themes is, um, has, uh, is saved here. It is possible to save several themes to the same theme group. Um, as you can see, there are multiple themes in this theme group. Um, next is to loading a saved theme. Uh, to load the saved theme, you have two options. You can either drag the theme to the uh, geo plan, or you can right click, um, right click the theme in the theme group and then choose open. Uh, to turn off a theme. You can uh, click the theme in the theme key window and then uh, click enable. And then you can tr right click on the same thing to enable the theme. You can also um, select the theme and then click, uh, press the delete button on your keyboard to disable the theme. Next is to uh, give you more examples of using themes in, in GeoPlan. Uh, first, we are going to set up the theme based on pipe diameter. Um, we can right click on the GeoPlan and then select properties and themes. And then we can click on edit for the, uh, for the conduit. And then we can add a new theme by clicking this add new button. And then we can give it a name, diameter, and then select the field, conduit width. And then we can uh, make sure that the range is set to continuous. Or con continuous. And then uh, click on the, uh, the use auto range to give you the um, range. And then we want to turn on the line color and line width to uh, add it. And then we can click on this add button to add a value count to five. And then we can choose uh, a color for each range. I'll just do auto theme. This looks better. And then I will uh, select a line width for each bar two. I can do the first one and then um, the last one. And then I will click the auto theme. Next, I'm going to apply the theme and then click OK. And then I can apply the theme again and then apply OK. Now we can zoom in to the, um, to the network to view the um, effect of the uh, theme. OK, so for the next example, we are going to set up the theme based on downstream head loss coefficient. First, we are going to right click on the GeoPlan to open the Properties and Themes window. And then we are going to click on this Edit button again for the conduit. 
and then we can select the diameter and then click on this uh, enable disable button to disable the diameter theme and then we can add a new theme and then call it um, ds head loss and then from the field drop down menu we are going to select ds underscore head loss coif And then check that in the range section, we are, we are going to select conduits and then check the use auto range as well. And then we're going to turn on the line color and line width for uh, editing. And then we can um, set the value count for to five. And then we're going to uh, choose different color for a uh, different range. Again, I'm going to use auto theme again. And then uh, we're going to select, uh, set up the uh, line width. I'm going to only set up the first one and the last one, and then click auto theme. Okay, and then I'm going to apply the other uh, theme and then hit OK. And then apply the theme, hit OK. Okay, so now you can see the uh, difference uh, between the different themes. Okay, so that concludes the video.